Hey YouTube, Camper Van Kevin here. Well today, working on the Class A RV. Today we're going to be installing some molding on the front of my RV that was missing. It was that way when I purchased it. It's uh, right here on the passenger side nose that joins the flat part of the RV to the front nose of the RV. Um, was able to pick up some at a uh, RV uh, wholesale warehouse in uh, Rexburg. And also, when I first got this RV, I ordered another vent fan fantastic vent fan for my roof one of the problems with my RV when I got it is that this piece of molding here was missing when I got the RV we were recently in an RV shop down in Lexburg Idaho and I said Asked if they had anything. He said, yeah, we, we special ordered some. He said, we don't have a lot. He says, we got about 12 feet. If you like it, I'll give it to you for five bucks. Turns out it, uh, it fits perfect. How about that? Then I look better. Then I can paint this part down here to match the gold. I'd call that one one project finished well I got the molding on the front of the RV got that on so the next project before we apply the roof coating is to install another fantastic vent fan on the RV I've got one in the bathroom but it does not have a thermostat or a reversible motor the 2250 model does so this is my bathroom ceiling here and I've got one fantastic fan in here. Um, but if you notice, this fan only has three speeds. It's not uh, reversible and it doesn't have a thermostat. So I've got the three speeds here, a fuse, and this right here opens the roof. So it's not very fancy but uh, I do need one that's got a thermostat. That way once the temperature's reached, the fan will cut off, it'll save the battery, and it won't freeze me to death at night. You guys may recognize that this is the collapsible ladder that I did a review on. I did not tell the name of the ladder. The company and I had a disagreement on the uh, ladder. I agreed to do a review. Once I did a review, they wanted me to do a commercial. So I was going to send it back to them. But just to make things easier, I just went ahead and purchased it. I gave them full price for it. A lot easier than boxing it up and sending it back to the manufacturer. So I did keep it. But I did pay for it. This is my roof here on this Gypsy. I've got the one solar panel. And I got the three Max Air covers, the fantastic fan over the bathroom that I just showed you. Now I've got a, a cover that's going to be going on it. But before we put the solar on and before we put the coating on the roof, these Max Air fan covers have to come off and we're going to install a fantastic fan here in the kitchen here in the kitchen. So next project is to get these off. And this is what it looks like with the cover removed. Well, these are fairly new. The last owner must have put these on. Now all three of the Max Air covers are off. So the back one is the back bedroom. That's between the shower and the toilet. 
and this one's in the kitchen. And this is the one that's going to get replaced. You can see just how brittle this old refrigerator cover is. Pieces just pop right off in my hand. And it's all chalky. When it starts getting chalky like that, you know that it's going to start breaking apart. And that's when you need to replace it. What size panel do you think this is? Looks like it's probably 100 to 120 watt. You said 100 to 120 watt. It's not doing what I need to be. It's not doing what I need. But I'm going to leave it up here. I'll have two separate systems for solar. Completely independent of each other. Might as well keep it. So, my buddy here, he had to go down and get a number one square bit. Didn't have it in his toolbox. While he's down there, I'm getting this vent ready to come off. And this is... This is the improper way to put this on. This little channel back here can hold water and start rotting away under from underneath and cause separation. Even with those all season covers, water can still drive up under there from any angle. You don't want this trough at the back. You want it, you want that sealant to come up a little bit and cover up this sidewall just a little bit. Look at this screws that's coming out of there. All rusted. Rusted means water got in there. Yep. Somehow it did. Did we bring the vent cover up? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> That's where they run the solar in last time, huh? Yep, this is where they run it right down behind the fridge. We're gonna run the solar on the other side this time because all this solar will be on the driver's side, then all the new solar will be on the passenger side. So we got a box to go in the roof where I'm sitting. Yeah, and they, they opened this up and bent it back and left it wide open. So any little a mouse or any kind of rodent could have gotten in there and dropped down. What about like leaves and, and leaves to breathe? Yeah. Could cause a fire. And that drops down on the back side of your refrigerator, which where gets got, very hot. I and well, it, I've got a flame back there. Could yeah, you do. And it could have could have heated up the components and burned anything out. It could have caused a fire. So we're gonna fix that and put it back the way it's supposed to be. I'm glad we got a cover. We'll cut out a little section and put a little piece of uh, sleeve over this to prevent chafing, because this this is a rough edge, and this is a rough edge, and if it chafes on this cover here, you could end up with wires bare and have another short, so we're gonna correct that as well. Good thing we took that off. Yeah, it is. It's a good thing that- We meaning you. Good thing that you're doing this, because it's, there's issues. This this is why when you have someone do something like this, you want to make sure that they know what they're doing. This this is really really rough on my finger, and if they're the bouncing around, this is just sitting here. It's not secured at all. There should have been a clip on here holding this in place at least, but there should be be a piece of wire loom over top of this that acts as a outer sheath so that any rubbing would be on the on the outer sheath instead of on this wire. So we found it. And we're gonna fix it. We're gonna close this up and caulk it so you don't have to worry about it. We'll cut out a little piece here and put a piece of wire loom over that and it'll be proper. All right. We just ran into an interesting problem here with the new Camco vent cover. It's made for a Dometic or um, Norco refrigerator. So to put it on properly, properly, it covers part of my solar panel. And, and it won't even sit on all the way properly. This holds it up from being seated down on top of the fridge stack. So we got a, so if I'm going in reverse, I'm just a little bit more aerodynamic. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> but that the, works. You need to, you need to drive in reverse and you'll get the best gas mileage ever. Cool. We're going to fix this wire and everything under there very soon, but we've got a rain cloud coming and all the die core and everything's been removed off this vent. So we're going to come back to that cover on cover on it for now. 
pocket this video like this. Are those stainless screws? No, they're not stainless, and they should be. Yeah, they saved the nickel a screw. Yeah. We will remedy that. We will put the proper screws that won't rust and corrode. While we were up there, fixing to change out this uh, fantastic fan, this cloud's come over us. We're getting raindrops, getting wind, getting thunder. So I think we're going to have to stop. So now this refrigerator vent cover is on backwards and it's going to be our little secret. I don't want you to tell anybody. It'll just be me, Backroads Nomad, and you. Of course, with the proper English, they, I should be last, but it's just us that know this, okay? So let's keep it to ourselves. Akita. What kind of dog is uh, this? Akita. Akita. Martini bit him on the nose the other day. She laid down on the side and played all nice and sweet and jumped straight up, bit him in the nose. I mean, she she honked it. I'm surprised that he didn't hurt her. No, he's, he's very gentle. He just likes to play and be loved. He's very lovable. Yeah, he's my lovable little boy. He just loves to play, get back scratches. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he loves his back scratches. That feels so good. If we took a lot of that sealant off, what do you think is going to happen if it rains? Is there enough sealant up yeah, there? Yeah, there's enough up there to keep the water out. Yeah. I don't think it's going to be a big deluge. I think it might be a light sprinkle. And pass over hopefully. So you put your tools up. What's the weather like for tomorrow? Says it's supposed to be sunny tomorrow so hopefully the weather holds and we don't get hit too heavy. So it's just real life stuff here. But in the mountains you never know what's going to happen. So I got a few things accomplished. Got the front trim on the passenger side cap. Got the refrigerator cover on. Got the Max Air covers off, so it's just ready to stick that fantastic fan in and get this roof coated. So it looks like that's going to be another video. But I thank you for watching this one. So I'm in this little video right here. Oh, oh, by the way, I have heard that there is a a barber shop in town. So hopefully, maybe, possibly, by the next time, the next video, I'll have it cut off. I'm tired of looking like a hippie. Okay, <laughs> going in this little video right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. You guys take care. Bye-bye.